I'm Noah Dermody. I'm Felix Galazzo. And this, this is, is Salty, Salty Jobs. Jobs. Today we're here on Star Center's campus in Dania Beach, Florida. The main mission of Star Center is to train the men and women of the American Maritime Officers. We're going to get to do some really exciting things today. We're going to learn about their tech apprentice program. We're going to check out their simulators, diagnose a blackout situation, and even see how to fix it with welding. Have you ever been in a simulator before? I've never been in one of these simulators, so I'm extremely excited to check it out. I know that I'm excited about the welding because I've never welded before. Well, let's get in there. Let's get it. We're here today with Captain Jerry Pinnell, the Director of Training here at Star Center. Jerry, tell me a little bit about your career path and what brought you here to Star Center. I went to sea for 20 years, including sailing 10 years as master on large merchant vessels. I ended up here at Star Center about 15 years ago and for the last five years have been the Director of Training. What type of students are you trying to appeal to and what certifications are they looking to obtain while they're here? Star Center is the primary training provider to the men and women of American Maritime Officers. American Maritime Officers is the largest union of merchant mariners in the United States. And we train the deck and engine members of that union for their initial license, their raise of grade, and the professional development training they need throughout their career. And I see all of this great technology around us. What is the benefit of having all of these simulators uh, here at Star Center? The bridge and engine room simulators that we use here in our training recreate the real world situations to develop the skills and competence that these officers need to safely and effectively manage these vessels so that we don't impact the vessel itself or the personnel on board. So what are we gonna be doing today? Today we're gonna to highlight our engineering apprentice program and we're gonna show you some of the training that those apprentices go through in their two year apprenticeship. Let's do this. To the engine room. Communication between the bridge and the engine room is essential for safe operations of large commercial vessels. Once the blackout occurs in the engine room, it is imperative to quickly diagnose the problem and ensure the emergency generator is functioning appropriately. Once the emergency diesel generator is online, we can move over to the auxiliary generators. First, we have to check the oil level in the generator to ensure we are able to start it. Since the first generator oil level is low, we move on to the second auxiliary generator. The oil level in this is good, so we are able to turn it on and ensure the gauges are all reading properly. Once the generator is up and running, we are able to fully restore power to the ship. Hi, I'm with Tim at the Star Center Tech Apprenticeship Program. So Tim, how did you even get involved in, in Star Center? Well, for me, it started, I was sailing unlicensed. I found out about the Star Tech Program and I applied and I ended up getting accepted. It's a two year program where you spend three months in the classroom, three months on the ship, and you alternate that for two years in order to get your third engineer license. So with that third engineer license, what do you plan on doing with the rest of your career? I plan on making my career with AMO. My ultimate goal is to start as a third engineer once I graduate this program and work my way up to become a chief engineer one day. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Tim. Wish me luck, I'm about Thank to you. go learn how to weld. <laughs> At the Star Tech program, learning how to weld is an intense 80 hour course. But before I touch a single piece of metal, the instructor taught me on a virtual reality simulator. Although it looks like a video game, cameras are tracking my every move down to the tiniest detail from speed, depth, and the angle of entry. And it is tough. Once I proved myself with a proficient score on the simulator, it was off to the real thing. I was impressed by how accurate the simulator was to actual welding and the level of finesse involved proves why it is such a sought after skill in the trade industry. Today we're here at Star Center in Dania Beach, Florida. 
The main, uh, let me run it back. Today we're here at Star Center. It's, uh, we're gonna get a chance to diagnose a blackout situation and even see how to fix a vessel with welding. I have never been in a, in a truck.